They're in my mouth, they're in my throat, in my tongue. I had a doctor that removed a worm from my scalp. Like biting stinging bugs creeping under their skin, say Morgellon syndrome sufferers. Colorful, itchy strings that seem to surface through cuts and sores like parasites. Blue, red, black, and white. The disease was discovered by a biologist whose own children exhibited the symptoms. From the beginning, patients say they've been treated like they're crazy. She labeled me delusions of parasitosis without giving me a, a biopsy, a skin scraping. Has everyone been labeled delusional? Yes. yes. I have twice. In the fall of 2006, we traveled to Atlanta, Georgia, to the Centers for Disease Control, where a team of researchers were beginning to study Morgellon syndrome. Now, several years later, they're finally ready to release their report. After studying 3.2 million people and more than 100 Morgellons sufferers, the CDC has determined that there's no underlying medical condition or infectious source identified. The unexplained apparent dermopathy demonstrated no infectious cause and no evidence of an environmental link. So what is it? Over the years, Dr. Randy Wymors conducted his own research. Humans don't grow red and blue fibers. I mean, that's what it kind of all boils down to, but the fibers are still there. Dr. Wymore's conducted tests on the fibers with startling results. They aren't textile or organic. Blowing one's mind is, is probably a pretty adequate way of trying to describe it. But the CDC seems to imply that the fibers are cellulose or compatible with cotton fibers. Furthermore, they say, a substantial number of study participants scored highly for one or more coexisting psychiatric or addictive conditions including depression, somatic concerns, and drug use. But people with Morgellons say they are not nuts, and they've got the strings and sores to prove it. The more you try to the heal it, the less it responds to treatment. It makes no sense. It's very bizarre.